Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the electromagnetic nature of the body, heart disease, supplementation for the heart, anything we're speaking about here today, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010. 010 is our phone number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please head to my website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the bright side ben team for a one-time 25 dollar fee you can be in business you can start yourself a longevity business be a distributor earn thank you checks associated with spreading the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program if supp supplementation has helped you in your life or your loved ones and you want to help spread the word and make money at the same time for a one-time 25 dollar fee you can be a distributor and join the bright side ben team we can help you build your business call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you more, want more information or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, which are all up at truthtreatments.com. Our Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by none other than Harper's Bazaar magazine. Also, our Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream if you're dealing with sunburn or any kind of broken skin, or if you just wanted a powerful moisturizing product and you don't want to deal with preservatives or fragrances. We never use any preservatives or fragrances or fillers or waxes or surfactants or emulsifiers or water or oil or silicon. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, our Truth Transdermal Sea Balm, Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and of course, our powerful anti-wrinkle, anti-aging, anti-acne, anti-dark spot, skin conditioning, Truth Retinol 5% gel made with retinol, with 5% retinol, as well as a big old dose of premium fat-soluble vitamin C, Truth Retinol 5% gel, and all the Truth Treatment products are all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been talking about heart disease, strokes, heart attacks, aneurysms, all, uh, all collectively the leading causes of mortality in the United States and around the world. And while the statistics seem to be improving a little bit, at least in this country, in terms of deaths, mo mostly because people are not smoking as much anymore. Most people don't smoke. Now it's, I think, only about something like 10 or 20% of Americans are smoking. And in large part, that's what accounts for the drop, the improvement anyway, in, in the statistics. But it's still a big problem. According to the American Heart Association, according to their uh, 2017 heart disease and stroke statistics update, the people, uh, the number of people, number of adults living with heart failure increased from 5.7 million to about 6.5 million. Number of people diagnosed with heart failure is expected to rise by 46% by the year 2030. 
That's uh, going to result in more than 8 million people in the United States with heart failure. And of course, these horrific statistics and circumstances are all taking place despite awareness, quote, awareness, I'm making little air quotes here, awareness and drugs and medicalization, endless medicalization about heart disease, cardiovascular health, etc. The take home message here, folks, the bottom line of our months long discussion, several months we've been talking about this subject, The bottom line, the take-home message is that while the medical model is absolutely helpless and useless and impotent, as it always is when it comes to dealing with chronic degenerative disease, in the case of cardiovascular disease, the medical model can do zippo, nada, nothing to restore a broken down heart system, cardiovascular system back to health. It doesn't matter. We can do it ourselves. If you've been listening to this show for any length of time, you know that is the major theme of this program. Health is not a medical issue. Health has nothing to do with your doctor. Is there a role for the, for the medical model and for doctors? Certainly. Absolutely. There's always going to be emergencies. Crap happens. Entropy. Things break down. That's just the way it is. Accidents occur. And so there's always going to be a place for, for medicine, for the medical model, but not when it comes to chronic long-term lifestyle issues like heart disease. And pretty much all of our chronic degenerative diseases, pretty much 70% of our health challenges have nothing to do with your doctor. Nothing. It is highly offensive to be, uh, have a, a medical professional insert themselves into a human being's life, uh, life in this kind of intrusive manner. Health is about how we live our lives, and it's true about the entire body, particularly when it comes to the heart. It has nothing to do with LDL, folks. It has nothing to do with your cholesterol levels. And any healthcare professional who tells you otherwise is simply repeating a meme, a belief system, a dogmatic idea that is not based in fact, it's based in marketing. So the take-home message is maintaining heart health is not a medical issue. It's a lifestyle issue, and this is why, despite the fact that we have more cardiologists than any other country or culture in the history of the planet, and more drugs and more surgeries and more dollars spent on heart disease prevention, we still have what can only be called an epidemic of heart disease. So here are 13 ways that you can keep your heart healthy without your doctor without the medical model, without insurance companies, without hideous prescription drugs. And let me tell you something. Some of the most hideous prescription drugs are cardiovascular drugs, including beta blockers, awful, awful medicines, uh, calcium channel blockers, awful, awful drugs. Digoxin, one of the most toxic substances known to mankind, Standard, uh, a standard prescription drug used for, for uh, heart disease, even diuretics, which are probably not as, and statin drugs, which are probably not as toxic as beta blockers and calcium channel blockers are still nasty drugs. Doesn't matter. Here's 13 ways that you can take care of your heart by yourself. Number one, change the way we eat. In fact, that's probably the number one thing we can do is change the way we eat. It's no accident that uh, heart disease rates have gone through the roof simultaneous with with uh, a food processing technology that has become so advanced and so prevalent that 70, 80, maybe 90% of the foods we eat are bars and boxes and packages and basically processed food. And it's no coincidence that the more processed food we eat as a culture, the more heart disease we get. We got to change the way we eat. I'm not Mr. Eating Guru. I know I've said this many times before. I, you know, if I'm hungry, I'll probably eat some kind of, you know, actually, I won't eat McDonald's. I'll tell you that right now. But if you put a, a apple pie in front of me and I'm really hungry, I'll probably eat half of it. This isn't about being guilty about what we eat. This isn't about bad person, good person, good food, bad food. It's simply about if you have a cardiovascular health problem or if you don't want one, it is imperative that we pay attention to how we eat. Eating less, for one thing, is a huge, huge, hugely important strategy. Caloric restriction always always is important. The more calories we eat, the more resources we are expending, the more nutritional resources we're expending. And considering the fact that most of us are already deficient in nutrients, do you really want to be spending your vitamin C and spending your vitamin E and spending your EFAs and minerals on digesting your food? Or do you want to spend it on building up your heart and supporting your immune system and reducing inflammation, etc.? All right. Got to take a break. We'll be back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds, your heart meds, and get on a good nutritional supplement program, any medication, we can help you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions or comments or success story or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you, and we'll get your phone calls here. Uh, in our next segment, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites and blogs uh, and news uh, new, uh, news clearing houses. We put news stories up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, as well as brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com are the three websites that we have with Longevity products. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off all the websites, or you can call 866-735-2470. Okay, so non-medical strategies for dealing with heart disease. These are also non-medical strategies that you can use if you want to wean yourself off your meds. And I've always said, if you're on a, a medication long-term, you got to figure out how to wean yourself off of it. Not stop necessarily just cold turkey, but weaning yourself off of a chronic long-term medication that you're on is a vital health strategy because all drugs kill in the long run. In the short run, drugs suppress. That's how heart drugs work. Heart drugs work by shutting down the heart. Now, who in their right mind thinks that's a good thing? Do you need it to, to slow down the heart sometimes? Perhaps. But you certainly don't want to be shutting down your heart long term. And if you're on a beta blocker, that's what you're doing. And when I say shut down the heart, I mean poison a cardiac cell. Yes, that is how a beta blocker works. Metoprolol, or anything that ends in olol, propranolol, metoprolol, atenolol. If it has an ol at the end, or an olol, I should say, a lol, it's a beta blocker. And doctors love beta blockers because they shut down the heart. They suppress the heart. And when the heart is suppressed, it can't really do much. Or it can't, the, the symptoms that are associated with heart disease are, tend, to, tend to be reduced. But it doesn't mean you're better off. It doesn't mean you're healthier. Only, it's just logical. Think about it. How can you be healthier by suppressing or shutting down or poisoning a cell, let alone a heart cell, any cell, let alone a cardiocyte, a heart cell? Ask your doctor, how can I possibly be better off by having a heart cell poisoned? And as I say, statin drugs and diuretics are not quite as bad, but they're still bad. So if you're on one of these types of drugs, these strategies I'm giving you are going to help you wean yourself off, talk to your doctor, don't let him tell you what to do, you tell him what you want to have done. But work with your physician. You always want to work with your physician. I rip on doctors in the medical model, you know, as much as anybody. But it's very important to understand that for the most part, these people are trying to do their job. They're doing the job we ask them to do as a culture and as individuals. So it's very important that you work with your physician, but you don't take orders from your physician. Doctor's orders. I love that phrase, doctor's orders. My doctor told me I better do that. No, you tell your doctor what you need. It's your body. Your doctor's going to sleep just fine at night after you are long dead and gone or, or, or from, from some kind of drug toxicity. And make no mistake about it, even if it doesn't show its up as side effects, you're going to be shortening your lifespan in the long run if you stay on a drug. There's no way to avoid it if you stay on a drug for a long period of time. All right, so eat, change the way we eat. That's the first thing to do. Caloric restriction, control eating behavior. I'm not saying this to rip it on anybody or to make anybody feel guilty, but it's just very important to understand that the, more, uh, the higher our caloric intake, the more deficient we're going to be in nutrients. And for most of us, we're already deficient. Improved digestive health. The more, uh, the, the more nutrients you absorb through the digestive system, the less hungry you're going to be. The less nutrients you absorb, if you have leaky gut syndrome or any kind of di uh, intestinal problem or stomach problem for that matter, or pancreatic issue, or any digestive problem, the hungrier you're going to be. So patch up the gut. Patching up the gut also eliminates the flow, the streaming of toxicity into the blood, which is a major, major cardiovascular health risk factor. Toxicity into the blood cannot help but lead to blood and uh, heart and blood diseases. Why? Well, toxicity into the blood that comes in through a leaky gut creates a sludging effect. It thickens the blood. Leaky gut syndrome thickens the blood. That means less oxygen to the heart. That means the heart has to work harder. That means less nutrients get delivered to cells, including the heart. That means less detoxification. 
patch up the gut. Probiotics are incredibly important for the heart. Way, way more important than a statin drug. If your cardiologist or heart doctor has put you on a statin drug before he told you to start patching up the gut and using probiotics, find another cardiologist, if you can find one anyway, who, will, who understands the link between digestive health and cardiovascular health. Use glucosamine. Glucosamine is amazing stuff. The glucogel caps from longevity, uh, gelatin, glucosamine, high aluronic acid. These are all components of connective tissue. They all help stimulate connective tissue. The heart is largely dependent on connective tissue, another hidden cause of heart disease that no doctors talk about, that you're only going to hear about on this program. I haven't heard anybody talk about the relationship of connective tissue health to heart disease. The heart is in a bag of connective tissue. The heart, uh, the cells of the heart, like all cells of the body, are fed by connective tissue. They're detoxified by connective tissue. This connective tissue, this relationship between connective tissue health and the health of the entire body and the health of every cell of the body is so important and so underappreciated that I can't help but believe that it is a major cause of our epidemic of heart disease uh, and the fact that we have so, uh, so much disease, not just heart disease, but all disease, uh, despite the fact that we're medicalized. Nobody's addressing connective tissue. Glucosamine is an, the, the most important, maybe... I don't say the most important, but one of the most important supplements you could take to help build connective tissue. Gelatin capsules can help too. Yes, just plain old gelatin capsules. Nox gelatin. Collagen. Anything that has collagen in it will help you build collagen. Vitamin C. You know, there's a guy named Dr. Uh, Matthias Rath who talks about how vitamin C and heart, uh, lack of vitamin C, vitamin C deficiency and heart disease go hand in hand. And I don't know if that's, if it makes sense to me because heart disease is a uh, connective tissue disease and heart disease and scurvy all go together. Scurvy is vitamin C deficiency disease. And one of the main signs of scurvy is your blood vessels break down. Why? Your blood vessels are also made of connective tissue. And you can't make connective tissue without vitamin C. Take vitamin C as a supplement. Ascorbic acid, cheapo stuff. You'll get it in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And by the way, there are some folks going around saying that ascorbic acid is not vitamin C. Nonsense. Those are clearly people who do not understand biochemistry. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid. It is handled by the cell as vitamin C, as ascorbic acid, I should say, or more technically as ascorbate. Yes, it's true. Food-based vitamin C is better. Why? Because you get the cofactors that help your body absorb the vitamin C at the level of the intestine. That's true. And food-based is always going to be the best way to get your nutrition. Problem is, because of soil depletion and processing and cooking and our fast-paced 21st century lifestyles, many of us can't eat right. Or many of us, even if we're trying to eat right, aren't going to get the nutrients that we need because they're not in the food in the first place. So you have to supplement. It's the best insurance. ACA, are you kidding me? Obamacare, are you kidding me? We need national supplement insurance. If we really cared about, insur about health in this country, if it wasn't a big old scam to try to centralize and take over, uh, a, a, a centralized power and take over the lives of individuals and rip us off, we would have national supplement insurance. I haven't even heard one peep about supplements. Have you? When they're talking about ACA and they're talking about Obamacare and how everybody needs health insurance. Have you heard anything about nutritional supplements for everybody? All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and critical, uh, pharmacistben.com, I'm sorry, they're on brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. That's a searchable archive page. So if you miss a program and you want to review a program, you can go to benfuchsarchives.com or brightsideben.com. You can also check out our news stories and blog posts at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls in just a sec. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, about the connective tissue before we went to break, I was, I was talking about how connective tissue is really so underappreciated when it comes to dealing with heart disease that 
it's a tragedy. It really is. But here's even, here's even more good news about building connective tissue. Not only are you going to be supporting the health of your heart, but you'll also be supporting the health of your digestive system. Leaky gut syndrome is caused by a breakdown in connective tissue at the level of the digestive tract. So anything you do to build connective tissue is not only going to help you with your heart, not only going to help you with your skin or with your uh, gut, your intestine, but it's also going to help you with your skin. It's an anti-wrinkle strategy, building connective tissue. How do you build connective tissue? With our glucogel caps, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, vitamin C, eating connective tissue, eating collagen, using bone broth protein. By the way, you can get bone broth protein at brightsidehealth.com. Chicken soup with the bones, all connective tissue building strategies. Drugs work by shutting things down. Nutritional strategies work by building things up. What, do you, what would you rather have? Yes, you need your drugs every once in a while, but you know what? Once you're uh, past the emergency state, the acute state, your number one health challenge should be to figure out how to wean yourself off of a prescription drug, especially a cardiovascular drug, like a beta blocker, among the most toxic of all drugs. I want to talk about beta blockers, I think, on our next episode. And we will also continue talking about 13 strategies for reducing, for preventing, eliminating, hopefully, heart disease entirely. 13 ways you can keep your heart healthy without the medical model. Number one, eat differently. Change the way we eat. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm going to do one news story, and then we'll get your phone call. So hang tight, because this is relevant. Tension makes the heart grow stronger. How do you like this? This is from the Journal of Developmental Cell. Tension actually improves cell strength, cardio cell, uh, cardiac cell strength, as well as other cells as well. From uh, Jingli, Ka Jingli Kao, PhD, lead study author and a postdoctoral fellow at the uh, Duke University School of Medicine. Cell uh, our findings open, open avenues for the study of cell dynamics and regenerating tissue. This is, this is what it's all about, cell dynamics and regenerating tissue. This is what the bright side is all about. Cell dynamics, that means how a cell works, how a cell does its business. That's what it means when we say all disease is cell disease. All health is cell health. How a cell does its business is the key to understanding how to stay healthy. So Dr. Cow says, our findings open avenues for the study of cell dynamics and regenerating tissue by manipulating, this is the important part right now, by manipulating the, medical uh, the mechanical tension of cells, by manipulating the mechanical tension of cells, we, can develop, we, uh, we might be able to develop new bioengineering approaches. What they're trying to do is by, uh, put energy into a cell that shows up as tension, increase the tension in a cell. If you do it strategically, the cell will grow. The cell will divide more rapidly, or the cell will uh, uh, be more efficient at its doing its business, but there's a sweet spot. You can't have too little tension, you can't have too much tension. This is true about the cell, it's true about our bodies, it's true about our brains and our minds and our spirits and our souls and our emotions and, and, and how we function as human beings. There's a sweet spot of tension that everybody needs to have. The body is designed to run best when it has just the right amount of tension and long, luscious rest. That is just as important as nutritional supplementation is understanding this idea of the balance between just the right amount of tension, just the right amount of stress, and lots and lots and lots of rest. All right, 844 and who doesn't like lots and lots and lots of rest, by the way? 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to Minnesota and say hi to Mary. What's up, Mary? Oh, thank you for accepting my call. Sure. Uh, I was born with eczema. I've got extremely dry, dry skin. And I know years, exactly what you're talking about. Is it is it painfully for, dry? No. Okay. But, but for 25 years or even longer, I've used one product as a hand lotion, and now they've repackaged, and whatever was in it for me Wait, that worked, you, they took it out. And Listen, Mary, sweetheart, let me tell you something. Your hand cream is going to make matters worse, and it could very well be the reason you're not recovering is because of your hand cream. So let me explain what I mean by that, okay? And this is very important for everybody to understand. I say this, I've been saying this for decades since I first heard about it as a pharmacy school student. In your skin, you have moisture factors. Do you know what I mean when I say moisture factors, Mary? They, they're like chemicals, molecules that trap water. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, so in your skin, you have built-in moisture factors. These are molecules 
I don't want to be too sciencey here, so I don't want to overwhelm anybody, but they're just little chemicals that suck up water, that trap water like a sponge. This is one of the effects of, of chemicals. Do you ever uh, uh, leave sugar out where there's moisture and see the sugar clump up? Well, I haven't, but I... You know, you kind of know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Or any, sometimes dry powder, if you leave it out and you live in Florida, you live in a moist place, it'll clump up. It'll suck up the water in the air. Yep. That's Mm -hmm. a, that's a very, that's a very fundamental chemical reaction. That's sucking up of water that some chemicals have. It's called, I don't want to blow anybody away here, but it's called hygroscopicity. It's a property that, that molecules have. They suck up water and in your skin, you have molecules like that. That's how God works. This is how the divine force works. It put molecules that trap moisture in our skin. How cool is that, Mary? Come on. Is that okay. amazing? Yeah, All right? It is. Now, now, these molecules that trap water are, have a way of communicating with the environment. They have a way of communicating with the air around it. So it's, put your hand out, you know, stick your hand in front of your face there, and around your hand you have air, right? Make sense? Yes. And the moisture factors in your hand are sensing that air. And if that air is dry... Guess what happens? Those moisture factors grow and proliferate. How cool is that? Are those moisture... Have you heard this before, Mary? No. The, nobody has. Because nobody talks about this. I'll tell you, it's, it's kind of a sneaky reason why nobody talks about it, but check that. I, I, I want to make a point here. So these moisture factors sense the air around them, and they'll proliferate in response to a drop in humidity when it gets dry, so that your skin should never be dry. It adjusts. It makes more moisture factors when it needs to. But here's the problem, Mary. When you put a cream on, your, those moisture factors can't read the environment. You've now blocked the communication between the moisture factors and the environment. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, what happens when the cream wears off? Because your moisture factors haven't had a chance to adjust, all right? Now, you're drier than you were before. So you put more moisturizer on. What do you think that's going to do? It's going to further suppress the production of these moisture sponges. They're so called you're going, into a, you're going into a rabbit hole. You're going into a rabbit hole. Exactly. That's a vicious, endless cycle that keeps you addicted to your lotion. And I don't know if you know this, if you've heard my story before, but I used to work for the Blistex Corporation. I was, uh, I, I was a, a research assistant for the guy who invented the stuff. And we love that phenomenon at Blistex. I'll tell you what I mean when I come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side, I'm talking to Mary in Minnesota about hand cream. But really, I want everybody who's using a moisturizer, I know almost everybody is using a moisturizer. I want everybody who uses one or everybody who has dry skin to hear what I'm saying to Mary. Are you there, Mary? I am. Thank you. Okay. So you've got these little sponges inside the skin. They're called the natural moisture factor. They're in the lower levels of the skin. They have a, a, an ability to sense the environment. And this ability to sense the environment translates into more moisture factors when it's dry, when the ambient humidity is low, less moisture factors when there's enough moisture in the air. So it's, a, it's kind of an adjustment system, a self-adjusting system. When you put a moisturizer on, you suppress that. And this makes you, uh, creates a situation where when the moisturizer wears off, now you don't have the moisture factors because they didn't adjust. So you get drier. So you put more moisturizer on, heavier moisturizer, richer moisturizer, quote, better, doing a little air quotes here, better moisturizer. There's no better moisturizer. By the way, the word moisturizer is a stupid word. How do you moisturize? What is moisture, Mary? Literally, what is moisture? It's water, right? Yeah. So, so how can a moisturizer, what, what is it? they say, oh, it traps the water, blah, blah, blah. That's not how it's supposed to happen. You don't trap anything in the body. The body doesn't want anything trapped in it. So anyway, you have less moisture factors. You become addicted to your moisturizer. When I worked at Blistex, we love this because the lips have more moisture factors in them than any other part of the body. When you think about it, your lips are kind of extended outside of your face, right? They're sort of extended outward. So they're more, more prone to getting dry. So nature, the divine force, God, whatever you want to say, has set up a situation where there'll be even more moisture factors in your lips. You put your, your chapstick or Blistex or whatever it is on top of your lips, you suppress the moisture factors, your chapstick Blistex wears off, now you're drier than you were before, and everybody who uses these kinds of products gets addicted. And you get addicted to your lotion, too. You get addicted to your hand cream. 
And obviously, you think a skincare company is going to tell you this? <laughs> about This is how it's happening? Of course not. So here's what you do. First of all, the best topical products are going to be topical products that stimulate the moisture factor. This is why I created my Truth Treatments. Truth Treatments work by stimulating the moisture factor, not by putting a coating on the surface of the skin. When, you, when, when most of us put a moisturizer on and then we rub our finger, you know how you put your moisturizer on your hands and you say, oh, my hands feel nice, la, 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 and you touch your hands and they feel soft. That's not your skin you're feeling. That's the wax. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense, Mary? Oh, you, and they feel so good and you put more yeah, moisture on yes, it. Yes, you're feeling the wax. You're feeling oil. You're not feeling your skin. You haven't done anything to your skin. You made your skin worse. So what you want to do is you want to use vitamin C and vitamin A. Now, on the hands is a little bit trickier because it's, the hands are so thick. So with the hands, I would be using heavy-duty vitamin C, like my Omega-6 healing cream, for example. I put cholesterol in my Omega-6 healing cream. Why? Cholesterol helps the skin make those moisture factors. Cholesterol on the skin is awesome, and hardly any, I don't know anybody who's using it topically. Vitamin C, vitamin A, cholesterol, something called squalane or squalene. I don't know if you ever heard of that one. That's another no. great ingredient in a topical product. All of these duplicate or stimulate the natural moisture factor. What you want to stay away from is the waxy stuff. The waxy stuff and oils and silicon. Silicon is actually not the worst thing, but it just doesn't do anything. But the waxy stuff and the oils, that's what you want to be very careful of. Now, here's the most important thing, though, my dear. you got to work internally. And that means fats and fatty vitamins and digestive strategies that help you ma help you absorb fats and fatty vitamins. Well, Does I that make sense? Hand, hang, I take more candy. than that. That's not fats. That's not your fats. You want to be using uh, the ultimate EFAs, nine to twelve of them a day. You want to be, uh, in my opinion, I know I get into trouble here, but eating uh, eating butter and coconut oil, eating them, not necessarily topically. Although topically, you know, they're not. It's not, they're not as bad as the lotions and the creams. And we didn't even talk about the preservatives in these products, too. What do you think the net effect of rubbing a preservative, a toxic preservative that would kill you if you ate it, on your hands or on your body for decades? Well, for daily, me, making it all the more dry. If not dry, and by the way, dry skin stuff penetrates through the, into the blood through drier skin uh, pretty rapidly, through dry skin pretty rapidly. So you, you're running higher risks of, of preservative toxicity. You know what, Mary? This is my favorite topic in the world to talk about, as if you can probably, perhaps you can tell. I've been studying the skin for 35 years, hardcore studying the skin, and I love the skin, and I know a lot about it. But I got a whole bunch of calls here, so focus on fats. Focus on fat absorption, wean yourself off your moisturizer, get my omega-6 uh, omega healing cream, which you could find at truthtreatments.com or something like, well, there's nothing like it. I recommend my omega-6 healing cream. Use fatty vitamins on top of the skin, all right? And you really got to take care of the condition internally is the most important thing I would tell you. All right, I'm going to motivate here, Mary. Thank you for your call. Appreciate Thank it. I hope you. I helped you out there. Thank God bless you. you. Have a good day. All right, let's go to, uh, to, to John. Mr. Underwear, the underwear guy. What's going on, underwear guy? How you doing, buddy? Hey, fantastic, Ben. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Where are you these days? Well, today I'm in a town called Santanella, California, kind of the okay. home of uh, P. Soup Anderson's restaurant. I, I don't know who that is, and I don't even know where uh, Santanella is. Where is Is it Northern California or Southern? <laughs> yes, yes. It's just Way right north? a little bit south. Um, a little bit south of San Francisco, so it's kind of okay. north, but Central. in the middle. Yeah, I know what you're talking uh, about. So what's what's going on today? So I have a question. Uh, people are always asking me to, you know, about things, and they ask me to ask you this question. Um, we have a, a relative, a friend of mine has a relative who's 89 years old, and she's been taking uh, vitamin B12, I think sublingually, uh, under her tongue to... Uh, abate uh, foot pain of all things. She's a diabetic, and it seems okay. to relieve her foot pain. That makes so sense. Her question, her question is: Would it be better if she took it at, in an injection form? Uh, I do both. I would do both. You can't really overdose on vitamin B12. I mean, it would be pretty hard to overdose on B12. So I would do both. And is B12 there is else, any other supplements that will also oh help her tons foot pain? tons. That's called neuropathy. And it's a very con it's basically synonymous with diabetes, not literally, but it's pretty, if you have diabetes, it's very common that you're going to be neuropathic. Uh, neuro neuropathy just means nerve disease, and it shows up as nerve pain, and it can be miserable, 
numbness and tingling and you ever wake up where you slept on your foot or slept on your arm kind of and has that tingly feeling yeah. you know what i'm talking about can you imagine that, that never going away can you imagine no. that never going that would be the most miserable thing, right? That's part of what people suffer from when they have neuropathy. B vitamins, like they're going out of style, including B12, of course, but all the B vitamins and all the electrolytes. Sh uh, lower or reduce sugar intake. Go ketogenic or at least reduce sugar intake dramatically. Use sugar metabolizing nutrients like the ultimate niacin and, the, uh, and thiamine. Uh, ultimate niacin you can get as a supplement. Thiamine isn't found in many of the Longevity products. Thiamine and niacin are your two most important sugar metabolizing B vitamins, but they're all important. B12 is important. Biotin is important. They're all important, but especially thiamine and niacin. Chromium and vanadium, of course, that's the sweeties. Selenium. Essential fats are also important. Uh, there's an amino acid called taurine, which does double duty from neuropathy. Taurine is a very important amino acid for the nerves, for electricity, and also uh, for blood sugar control. Uh, zinc, also very important for blood sugar control. Magnesium, also very important for blood sugar control and can help with all neuropathies or all contractive types of issues. Magnesium has a relaxing effect. There's tons you could do. Most important, those focus on blood sugar. All right? Okay, great. All right, big guy. Have a beautiful day. Thanks, John. Good to talk to you. All right, let's go to Dave in Michigan. What is up, Dave? Good morning. Good morning, Ben. Oh. You're awesome. I love your show. You, Thank you. You, just, uh, you are an incredible teacher. We love how, how you make everything so simplistic. Pam and I have been listening to you since you probably first got your show when you started out on Alex Jones, and you, you won't believe the knowledge I've gained from listening nice. to you. Uh, we listen to you religiously every single Thank day. Thank you. And wow. we, we just love you. You are awesome. But Thank I, you. The reason I'm calling, I wanted to uh, finish up last week. We were talking about silver. Oh, the silver. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've had so many successes with silver. Uh, ear infections, uh, sinus infections, pink eye, uh, burns. That's uh, awesome. Abrasions, cuts. Uh, Why don't you do this? Hey, hey, Dave. Dave, Dave, listen, I'm going to run out of time here, but I definitely want to okay. hear what you have to say. So why don't you do this, okay? Why don't you study up on this thing, get a bunch of talking points, and let's get you on the air for about 15 minutes where you can just talk about silver. Because I, okay. I, I think a lot of people can benefit from it. I, I, the more I learn about colloidal silver, the more interested I become in it. So, so you want to do that, Dave? Why don't you shoot me a text when you have a chance, okay? Absolutely. And then we'll talk. All right, good okay, to talk to you. Sounds great, Ben. Yeah, thanks. thanks for the kind words, too. Say hi to Pam. I appreciate it. All right. That is all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you so much for listening, friends. Please check out the Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the websites as well, or call 866-735-2470 for more info. And don't forget about my Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Serum, and Truth Transdermal C Balm. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.